we have finally got set up. The decoys are out. I'm trying to figure out what safety and what fire is. If that lets you know about how much I know about shotguns and hunting, but there's no red or black. Oh my! What's quacking, mother truckers? You ready to clap some quackers out there or what? Jeez, coming in hot. You got it, ready. You are amped. You said you were gonna be tired this morning. You are amped. No, I, I was up extremely early. Yeah, ready. Boom, boom! I'm ready, man. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are ready. You're I haven't even had my first cup yet. You're fired. You're fired up. I love it. Day hasn't officially started till you take your first sip of free range. We've got many people joining us today. We're at the Flare Farm, and today we are doing some duck hunting. We've got, you know, the shotguns, right? Shotguns? That's what you use, yeah. yeah. Shotguns, yeah. Shotguns, you know, you got the decoys, you got the calls. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Free range coffee. Free range coffee. Dude, life is good. Yeah, but can I get one of those? Is this mine? Yeah, sure. <laughs> No, it's not yours. Actually, tradition at the flare farm when you shoot your first duck, you have to shotgun a claw afterwards. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So that's so. Yeah, that's that's well, tradition at the flare 10 farm. Well, about 10:45 for me. <laughs> <laughs> not only uh, you got a few hours. Well, it's uh 4:45 in the morning. Shooting lights uh 6:25. 30 minutes away. So we'll have an hour set up once we get there. You boys ready? Yeah. I want to hear. I've been waiting for two years for this. This is a good time to come because the flood brought all the birds. So I'm glad you didn't come last year. This year, yeah. I'm, be good. I'm glad all the flooding could uh, result in such great duck hunting. Cheers. Cheers to killing quackers or something. And a good day. Is that what they say around here? No, that's not what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, to be a bougie. Wear your Yeezys out in the cornfield. Step two, be named Matt Kendrick. Sorry, I farted. Yo, I, I yo. farted too. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Matt's Instagram the other day, he's at like 5K now. And I don't even post. Wow. Buddy's killing the Instagram game. I feel a little, uh, you know, out of my element here. It's colder than I like it to be. Wow, it's not windy. At least it's not windy. That is, your hands get wet. It's windy. As long as I stay dry, I'm I'm happy. Yeah, we're good. Four rounds. I like that I'm not doing a thing right now. I've eaten a cinnamon roll, enjoyed a nice cup of coffee. I've been dressed, and I'm I'm ready to just go out to the blind. Here at the Flair Farms, you're taken care of. Yeah, this is a great guide service. If you, I, I mean, we'll put Flair's number on the down below if you want to get yourself a nice little guided situation. He's got it taken care of. Look at this. It's beautiful. I don't even know what's going on. Doing great work, guys. Just take me to the birds. We still got like an hour until sunrise. Hopefully, that's enough time. But you're gonna want to turn the volume up to hear these wings whistling in the dark. Lots of birds, that's a good sign, and Flair is getting excited. You can tell the voice, like his voice is getting high pitched. He's kind of like moving frantically, and it's just. And Kendrick's just chucking stuff everywhere. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I'm doing exactly what I got told to do. Just making sure. Just making sure, man. I can't wait to see who, who actually can shoot a bird and who just misses. <laughs> it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Well, we're uh, wrapping up here. Got to get the last spinner wing out. It's shooting time. I don't know if the boys are ready for this. We have finally got set up. The decoys are out. I'm trying to figure out what safety and what fire is. If that lets you know about how much I know about shotguns and hunting, but. Here, do we look at your gun? Uh, it's just there's no red or black. Oh my god! Get ready. 
<laughs> There's uh, you, Look are you good on your gun for safety? I, I, yeah, I'm good on safety, but I, I, I know what it is. But, uh, There's a small side and a big side, okay? okay? Push the small side in for safe. Your thumb will fit on the, the big side. I know. Just chill. Okay, feel it? See how there's a big side and a small yeah. side? So now it's on safe, now when, it's when on fire. When the small side is popped out, it's, it's on fire. Got it, yep, understood, okay. Did anybody just see that duck land right there? <laughs> like it literally landed right there. Like this is the dumbest okay. thing I've ever seen. Everybody's gun's loaded. Yeah. Eric, that gun's should not I, loaded. Should I, should I oh, it's not loaded, okay. Right. Are you calling? Flair, or? Flair's gonna call the shots. So he's gonna say, take them? Or what do you like to say? Send uh, it? I'll say like, shoot that. Sometimes I'll say, yeah, kill him. Hey Kendrick, you see that one moving over there? That's a decoy, don't shoot it. Yeah, don't shoot the spinning. <laughs> oh, okay, got it, guys. Are we gonna go ahead and pop? Yeah. We're not gonna wait for the mega group. Shoot that. Someone, Kendrick, shoot that. Shoot that. Yeah, shoot Wow, that's sad, boys. That's really sad. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even want to shoot. I just let you guys handle that one. First. This is, uh, you know. Kendrick. It's, 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 it's dark. All right, it's dark. First duck landed about five feet from Kendrick, yeah, and he missed know. twice, and then uh, shot a Hail Mary shot at the end. That one it was like 40 yards away. Wait, and just, one in the chamber now? One's in the we chamber. have zero ducks down. Shots are fired, though. You guys just raised hell on okay, There's one in front. Right, you went too low. Hey, Flair, do you think you should keep your gun on fire or safety? Safety. Okay. Is that an actual question? Well, I, I, I feel like it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I got that one. You get him? Who killed him? I got him. him. You got him. I got him with the second shot, bud. I feel like it was me, bud. No, I got him, bud. <laughs> I feel pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm right on par with my normal. I've got two shots, no, nothing yet. Uh, so I've seen more ducks already than I have in my last 10 years of hunting. So this is amazing. Old King Daddy Ranch, or our manager Matt, got the first duck of the season or of the day. Well, what kind of uh, what kind of duck was it? Uh, spoonbill. Spoonbill. Childhood. Our manager got the first duck, which is a spoonbill. The code word to pop up and shoot is biscuits. Go boys! Woo! Heck yeah! Kendrick, you smoked the first one. I I know you hit the first. Yeah, one. I missed both those. <laughs> I'm 0-3. Uh, I'm 0-4 actually. I've got the worst record in the blind. I'm un I'm undefeated. <laughs> I got I got two down. No three. Well, Flair got the third one. Oh, Flair! Shot. I can't even figure it out. What, like I don't. You can't even shoot, bro. I know that. But you either have it or you don't. Obviously, that's it. I mean, Perrick, I don't know. We could set one at the end of the, just right here. I don't know if Perry could hit it. This guy. <laughs> you know when you fart and like the waft just goes right up? You been doing that all morning? Yeah. Mm. He's been farting. That cup of coffee just got me. Green wings. Drake and a hen. Oh, well, you're circling. Flair. Huh. Look up. Oh, oh. Coleman. Um. Got one, baby. There we go. First hey. duck down. AP Bassett. Bassett. Duck is down, baby. White claw time. <laughs> <laughs> Ten shots deep. We finally got one. 
<laughs> what was that? That was all three shots? Yeah. You First, you you emptied the gun. I almost got that second one too. Just a hair behind it. Just a hair behind. First one. Uh, biscuits is still not been yeah, said. Yeah, Biscuits has not been said once. I, like, I didn't he, know what was said, going He said, uh, hey, hey, shoot that one. Shoot that one. I never Which saw one? it. <laughs> so I got up and they were that way. They got up and I shot one biscuits and missed the left. other one. But Biscuits up high. Yeah, Flair, can you say biscuits next time, please? <laughs> Your first duck, buddy. Thank you. A little green wing. Look at that. How do you tell it's a girl or a boy? Uh, the boys this time of year will have like a brown head, like a dark brown head. Manager Matt clapped on him. AP Bassin. They, they both got their first ducks. Uh, I've killed ducks before, but I'm absolutely terrible at it. But now I, th I think it's my turn. Um, my biggest fear is I'm just going to unload the gun and everything's going to be flying away. It's always a weird moment. Everyone looks at you like, wow, you're that guy. Oh, so this is my moment. This is my moment to shine right here. Staying down. Yep. Here we go, Rat. This all you, buddy. Biscuits! <laughs> I think I hit one. You did. You hit the second. Good I shot. Job, right? I shot yes. The, I shot the right one. You hit the other one. That's what I'm talking about. Now everyone Killer. is ready for a white claw. <laughs> you know, biscuits was called, and that triggered. I was. It was killer instincts. So I was able to get a bird. It was good to see two birds come in, two birds not leave. It's always a good sign. Oh, here we go, boys. Woo! These flappers are going more. down. So right now we are having no problem shooting teal and spoonies, which I have no problem with, no big deal, but the mallards are definitely seeing us. They're seeing the slot right here. So we're trying to cover up the slot as much as possible. What stings is, as a hunter, you're not gonna see the ducks as much. Um, but if they land, if they land in the decoys, then it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna try to get kind of brushed up more now that the sun's coming up. Our number one problem though is wind. No wind right now is making it really tough to make the decoys look legit, calling sound legit. And uh, I'm watching this guy. Yeah, he sees us. Yep. All right, we're gonna get brushed up. Biscuit! Oh Woo! yeah, baby! You tell me that didn't work, boys. That's the first mallard. That did. Cover up, and you're good. Our our retriever. He's a golden. Golden Eagle himself. He's a very loyal lab. Amazing man. Flair called it. He said we got to brush in. These that mallards so aren't working. They're not coming in. As soon as we do that, <laughs> biscuits and boom. Mallards. mallards. <laughs> we covered up and it came right in. seeing anything we need you to really kick it in gear for us with the old ducks call next gen this is the next gen that's the wrong end <laughs> say say hut 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 with a, with a you gotta like look at that stash curl around the lips <laughs> you sound like a goose <laughs> No, just there it is, a little rasp to it. Look at them, they're coming in. <laughs> they got the like seagulls the coming. <laughs> the seagulls are coming in. They love it. Look at them. Is that good? Yeah. That ought to do it. Biscuit. Dude, I got one. I like to hear them flop on the water from a high range. That's, that's nice. Got one. I don't think I led that second one enough. Double curl, baby. Nice. Finally. Saw the mallards. You know, we just said screw it. They're not gonna, they're not gonna land. So got them in shooting range, right above the blind. It was a tough shot. Straight up. We got one down. Absolutely gorgeous. That's my first Drake mallard of the year.
Yeah. I'm still here listening to old old man Rackley over here complain about wanting to go to the apple barrel. The apple That's barrel what, is what we need. That's what we needed. You know, there's cracker barrel and then there's apple barrel. They uh with my shotgun. They got uh Want to breakfast? Breakfast. It's. I've been talking about this for the last hour and a half. It's been longer than that. Mm -hmm. It's um, been since we sat down. I in the feel blind. like you've been talking about breakfast since 6:30, which was shooting light. This is what it takes to shoot one and a half ducks for me. About a whole box of shells and 28 beaks. Some professional calling, an Argo, a duck's beanie. Pretty good day. Bad idea. I'm gonna leak in my waiter. I knew you did. And that's why I was doing all the retrieving in the decoys, because I gave him leaky waders, but it's leaking in the knee, and we were only in like, I don't know, a little above ankle. It's all right. But then he, he just he decided he wanted to help out and pick up decoys, so now he's wet. He's cold, wet, and hungry. This poor man needs a good breakfast at Apple Barrel. So that's, what, that's where we're headed right now. And after yes, that, sir. it's catching cook time. You guys stay tuned. Maybe I can't where it's at. Today was actually a little bit yeah. Okay. This, is, this is what you've been waiting for. Literally all day in the blind. Apple bear, biscuits, cinnamon rolls. I'm over here like quack, quack, quack. He's like, dude, biscuits. This is what we've been waiting for. Give this us a review. It. What do you think about it? Well, just, you know, first off, visually, this thing's gigantic. It's got that going for it. It's not a whole lot of heavy cinnamon on the inside, but they put a, a slab of butter on the side, which is never a negative. Put, it, put that on there, see what that's about. I'll set up decoys at 4.30 for that. <laughs> that's good. It's evening, it's dinner time. We gotta do a little cooking. Didn't show a whole lot of cleaning, you guys know the gist, but Right here, this is teal breast. That is shoveler breast. And uh, shoveler breast. That shoveler sounds breast. so funny. Does it? Does it sound, how's breast. it going, Ricky? How's that apple cider? Yeah, that smells pretty good, actually. Might be a little spiked, but it's good. <laughs> here we go. Anyways, hey, um, the whole challenge we're thinking about is Rackley, really big cooking guy. I mean, he's a chef. He's a he can, he can cook. All right, me can't really cook. I attempt a lot. Uh, not super good, but I challenge Rackley. I said, Rackley, I got a challenge for you. I think I can cook shoveler to taste better than you can cook teal, which if you guys don't know backstory, shoveler is one of the worst tasting ducks out of like yeah. the ones that you it's normally like shoot. It's like the carp of the car It's like the carp of the waterfowl industry versus teal is like walleye crappie. Mm -hmm. Walleye crappie versus carp. Imagine trying to make carp taste better than walleye and crappie. That's what I'm about to do. So we're gonna be doing two different tactics here. So uh, you, you've got your own recipe idea. I've got my own recipe idea. Yep. And then we're gonna give it to the panel of judges. They're gonna know which dish is which. Um, don't, you know, don't be biased towards one way or another. It's gonna be, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be tough for me to beat teal. Teal tastes freaking amazing. I've got something up my sleeve, I think it's gonna work, so let's All get, right. let's get to prepping. All right, here we go, shoveler. Just been soaking in water, nothing special. So we're gonna go to the old cutting board, and we're gonna go with some nice thin slices, just about like that. So I'm doing something that I've actually done a decent amount of times. So I'm slicing this up thin. And we're gonna make some stir fry. It's gonna be kind of Asian infused with some different flavors like that. Basically what you would see with beef stir fry, but with duck. It's very strong flavors, I guess you could say, which is my strategy to take away the game flavor. So give these a quick rinse and get them in the marinade. We're starting with some hoisin garlic marinade, something I've done in the past. It's got a really awesome flavor. It's kind of like a Asian barbecue sauce is kind of how I describe that. So we're gonna give that a dangle here, right inside there, and then you take your chunked up meat, and give it a toss in here, like that, and throw some more on it. Cover it with tar and light it on fire, and hope it turns out okay. Pretty much. What's the saying with, uh, there's one of the, that's like, you season all this and do that, and then you 
basically just eat the board that it's on, and that's the rest. Oh, and that's a thing. I've never heard of that yeah, before. It's a certain kind of duck. Really? It's probably this. It probably is that one. It's probably this one. Yeah. This will be interesting. That or a coot. A coot would be out there. Yeah, yeah. for sure. A coot would definitely be out there. So right now I'm multitasking. We're trying to sear this meat, trying to get it cooked. Once it's brown on both sides, you're good. Then here I'm steaming some veggies. This is for the stir fry. Need to get some spatulas going here and get these things to toss. Throw, all I do is throw a little bit of water in here, kind of works as a little steamer. And then uh, once these are all thawed out, start adding a few more sauces. I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve, but right here is just the hoisin sauce with the duck. Have it on high. And you just sear it. Just kind of stir it until you don't see any more of that little purple red right there. After that, you throw it in there and then I kind of let it sit there for like 5-10 minutes on low. Kind of let it all just marinate, all the juices flow. And then you're ready to go. I am nervous about not marinating. That's the one thing that I'm not too sure, but we're just gonna hopefully throw enough seasoning on it and we'll be good to go. I think Raggedy's going simple. He's thinking simple steak. I'm going a little bit more complex. We have got the green wing teal. I think, right? The green? Yeah. Green wing teal. Uh, delicious, delectable delight. I think one of the best out of the duck families. So we're gonna keep this simple. We're going to focus on the, the delicious meat. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil here. Yeah. Got to really get it up high to get the air tones in it. Can't go wrong. SPG. Our uh, friend Cosmo, he makes this. It's good on basically everything. Kind of brings out a little bit of flavor, but doesn't overpower. It really, if you have a really good steak, good piece of meat, this is a great thing to put on it. Salt, pepper, garlic. That's all it is. So I'm going to keep this very simple. Just toss it up with some olive oil and then we'll... A little bit goes a long way because there's some really chunky spices in, spices in there. I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to add just a hint of cayenne or red pepper. This stuff gets pretty powerful. It takes a, takes a bit of the gaminess out. Pretty much every kind of wild game meat. If you got something pretty gaming that you want to overpower. Just to top it off, we're going to go with a standard fresh crack black pepper. This is just going to be a fresh crack, really bring out those fresh kernels on there. It's a presentation thing, but also a flavor thing. Don't want too much. It's not a thick steak. And that's basically it. My man Flair over here, he's going ham with everything he can bust out to try to make this carp of the sky delicious. Don't think it's gonna happen. Teal is money. What are we on here? What is this thing? Is this like tell my future? Do you want to say? It's like ready. It's on uh, pork chop. Yeah, I mean, steak, pork chop, whatever you want it. Pork chop mode? Yeah. Are we good? This thing isn't as big as a pork chop. We we'll probably need like panini mode. It'll feel okay. the weight of it. What? That what? It's smarter. It's smarter. It than is. Me. It is telling me my future. Okay. Oh. Future's looking good, man. All right. Look at that delicious piece of meat that we harvested fresh today from the sky. A gift. Mm. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a little hot. It's going to cook pretty quick. This is really important that we do the proper <laughs> cayenne. Really got it. Proper amount. <laughs> I might a little, a little hard on the cayenne. I like a little redness. In there, you know. I know that's kind of a no no with poultry, but with ducks, what? if you overcook them, they taste like a tar and feathered burnt turtle. I don't know. They're hard to describe. You can't overcook a, a, a no, duck. No, medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah. Open it up, a little bloody. I've never used this device, so you I'll tell you me know. what's I'll going you know. on. What's You're it, good. What do these colors mean? Uh, it's cooking. I know. After the first beef, you'll probably be pretty close. So I grab one, I slice one open, and then just depending on how it looks. It's It'll blue. be. It's green. It's going to go beep, beep, beep. 
So I'm trusting his advice mm -hmm. and not my own yep. instincts. Yep. So take do this. <laughs> yep. Did you leave it on pork chop mode? Uh, that's steak mode, man. Is that what it's supposed to be? They look done already. Yeah. So take one off and cut it in half. Just take one off, cut it in half. No finish cooking. Look at these delicious nuggets. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I think your hot little pockets here. Mm. I think George Foreman had something to do with this style. George Foreman, you ever cooked a duck on uh, one of your grills? Let me know in the comments. Taster. Here we go. That garlic. You got everything in there. Pepper. A little bit of cayenne, I see. You're done. Very good. Don't even try. Tender. Delicious. You got a judge ready? No, that looks perfect. Oh, wow. Set? Yeah. I guess it's hot now. Come take a gander. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go bigger. How chewy is it? No, it's not chewy at all. Wow. That's really good. Tender, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta try some. So teal is just good overall. It's not even gamey. No. Mm -hmm. teal, that's how teal is. That was good. T put a little Chick-fil-A sauce with that. <laughs> oh, come on. I need Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce? What do you think about the flavors I chose? Wow. Straight steak. I didn't, I didn't. That's good. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm way surprised at how good that is. Yeah, straight no steak. That's, That's spice. So what was the spice? Ground pep, red pepper. SPG and a little bit of cayenne. We kept it simple. You might I'm surprised. Try this one. I really, I've never, I've had duck like cooked at like a fancy restaurant or like just to try it before, but I've never had like wild duck that has been obviously shot. And that was like very, very good. But this is teal, so that's the good, the good duck. Now I'm gonna try Flair's duck, which is supposedly the bad duck. I have Spoonbill stir fry. <laughs> have you made this before? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, 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 fork it. Okay. And you have to put veggies with it. Oh yeah. It's a stir fry. Fork right there, sorry, top drawer, top drawer. Top, hit, 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 here you go, Judge. Get like, you gotta get a little piece of broccoli or something with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? I gotta cover up the taste? Yeah. Have you tried it? Nope. Was that a gravy? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's probably a little warm. Did you get a mushroom or, or duck? I got duck with the little... I mean, it's got good, like, spicy flavor, whatever you got. It's kind of an Asian... It's an Asian. Asian fusion. You know what's kind of scary about this? What's that? You can't tell it's duck. Yeah. Exactly. It's pretty tender. It's not bad, huh? I mean, it's no. good. I mean, for the worst tasting duck. Here's the thing. This was by itself. Yeah. yeah that's I had to use a lot of sauce. No, no, no. If you put that and then you took mine and put it on a grill, it wouldn't even be close. That's why I did this. Like, I know that. I can't prove that. So I, I made the recipe to cover up the taste as good as possible to where if you eat that and you eat that, you should notice a tremendous difference. But you don't. This one's just it tastes okay. okay. Yeah. It's like okay. They're both good. I mean, this is, this is my winner. This is just fine. I'm sorry. This I think all we should do is shoot teal from now on. Teal tastes the best. Hey, Let's just down. call those in. Teal tastes the best. Winner, spoonies right? don't taste that good. You shot a lot of spoonies, so I had to do this. His is way better. Even like, it's just better. Yeah, it's sorry. Better. It's just better meat. Well, it, it's, I, mean, but I kind of expected it. It's settled. Thank you for an amazing day. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you for the moral <laughs> support. Thanks for knocking those two down, actually. Yeah. You I think I killed one of them. You yeah. did. You Hope did you guys it. enjoyed this Guggen Squad episode. I think the two chefs should end it, though. Okay, well. Exactly. You we're took, going, you, we're you going out down. tomorrow. We're going out tomorrow. We're going to shoot nothing but teal. Okay. You guys are going to want to stay tuned yep. for that, and we got more action here at the Flair Farm. Thanks for being with us here today. We'll see you next time on another Guggen Squad episode.